Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a very special episode. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, despite the, what uh, it may look like. I legitimately bought all these toys, uh, much to the confusion of my bank and the delight of the sales and marketing executive of this company. These are all from a Czech company. No, 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 not that Czech. There we go. A Czech company called Efco. Uh, they were founded in 1993 and they acquired the rights to this particular brand of figure in 2006 from the original creators of the figure, Igra, another Czechoslovakian company. Uh, they developed the figures in, in 1976 due to an interest in the German Playmobil figures. Uh, basically, the figures themselves come from the name Igra Ek, which is uh, Igra, the former company, and Kek being puppet. The fact that these figures, the Playmobil figures themselves, were not available uh, across the Iron Curtain in Czechoslovakia um, until relatively late, um, and I think to the late 2000s, uh, when everything started to uh, even out. Um, but yeah, so this was basically, uh, it's an historical toy in, in my eyes. Uh, and I'm really glad that FCO decided to uh, revive the brand and, and do some more and unique things. Um, I will be reviewing a lot of these other things in the future, uh, the boat guy, the chefs, uh, it, King Carl there, and a, and a lot of the, the other figures here. Uh, but I, I just wanted to have a brief overview right now uh, as to why I have all, all of a sudden started reviewing uh, these random random toys that I can't even pronounce the proper name of. Um, it, it's either Idretjet or, um, I'm not, well, I won't even try to pronounce the other ones, but I, I'm told that I should be pronouncing it uh, uh, by another name for English speakers called Potato. Right which kind of sounds, I don't know, Hispanic to me. It sounds interesting, but I'll go with it, potato. Um, in my eyes, uh, potato is small. Portito is a Spanish word for small. So it, in my eyes, it kind of fits. So uh, so whatever, anyway. Uh, Sidetracked there, um, I just wanted to point out this very basic figure here so we have uh, a brief understanding of what uh, we can have out of the uh, potito figures. Basically, it looks a lot like the traditional Playmobil figures. Uh, here's the uh, Playmobil figure from the 1970s. The wrists don't turn and it's very clunky. Uh, but yeah, and this is a very modern figure. So comparing the two directly is kind of uh, unfair because Efco has really modified the brand a lot since, uh, or rather modified the um, molds and whatnot ever since they uh, acquired it in 2006. Um, so basically the changes that they have done is uh, they changed the arms from the original 1970s versions. The wrists now move. They're now uh, the same uh, color as the skin tone. Uh, there's also a variety of dif different colors, more lifelike colors. And one of my favorite parts is the fact that the hair pieces are actually uh, kind of this rubbery piece. Uh, not on all the figures, but it seems to be a, a kind of a, a new thing they're trying out, which I actually approve of. It's really cool. There we go, fit back on. Uh, and also, one of the things that I like about these figures, something that Playmobil cannot do, is the fact that they naturally fit on Lego studs. Yes, so, and all things considered, while Playmobil is not uh, a direct Lego knockoff or a Lego compatible figure, I should, I should say, these are. And that's very interesting to me. It opens up a wide variety of play possibilities for this figure. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, that's just a brief overview of the uh, Petito figure. Uh, basically, um, I like them. They're very fun, very unique. And who can say no to that happy little face there? So basically, I'll be doing more review reviews of these in the future. So don't freak out when you see just this random thing pop up. Um, but yeah, so anyway, thank you all for watching. And until next time, bye.